everybody, welcome back, comic review time, where basically I kind of run through uh, some stories that I really like and show you kind of some pages I really like and just geek out about these comics. As you guys know, I'm new to the comic obsession, um, you know, so I'm a noob, you can educate me, I'm learning as I go, I'm loving things. Uh, I finally got turned on to some DC though, because I needed to get in somewhere, and we're better to get in than with Batman going on the rebirth yeah so uh before we dig into this i'm going to do the first six issues just because i'm trying to catch up and i don't want to do a review for every issue yet until it's like i'm on the subscription list and doing it weekly but um so i'm gonna do the first six because that's the i am gotham arc and uh, that's what i finished today and it's really really cool so first i want to tell you that I, this is actually what i bought and actually what i read is number one was a director's cut i was not familiar with uh, director's cuts. I didn't know what it was, so I was actually a little shocked when I opened up, and I'm like, wait, there's no color, and it's all sketches, and, and what's going on? And then at the back, there's a script. Well, at first, I was a little taken aback, but now I really love it, because I am curious about how making comics works, so that's a great way for me to start learning. So now I know what to look, what a director's cut is when I find them. But luckily, I went out and I found um, issue number one, and it's not in the greatest shape, but you know what? At least this way I have it as a completist uh, for color and everything. So this is pretty cool. Uh, since it's re Rebirth, and it's my first time into the DC Rebirth, I thought everything was like just completely restarting. I was wrong, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. This is a really good jumping in point. This first issue is thrilling too. Uh, but before we get into it, I guess I should do this as suggested and makes perfect sense. Um, this series is written by Tom King. Uh, the pencils are David Finch. Uh, Matt Banning did the inks, uh, Jordy Blair did the colors, and John Workman did the lettering. So um, there you go. So I, also this will help me learn these names if I actually read them to you. So, uh, but this is great because we start off on a plane, and then uh, we jump over, you know, to, to Jim and Gordon talking to uh, Batman, and then the plane gets hit with a missile in the background. Of course, Batman dives off the building, you know, does that whole thing, um, and it's pretty cool because basically he's talking to uh, this new guy Thomas, who's trying to be a Robin and an Alfred, and Thomas is giving him all these numbers like trajectories, and you have to hit this in 53.2 seconds, and blah blah blah. And apparently, Batman is a genius with timing and everything, and it's really cool. But check out that version of the Batmobile. I love that version of the Batmobile. Um, but basically he ejects out of that thing and flies up to the goddamn airplane that's going to crash uh, into a major uh, populated area. And essentially he starts attaching jets to it. And then he's going to, you know, take it out over the water. And then it gets real sad because uh, he's going to die. He's going to die. And Alfred knows it. He knows it. And he starts al asking Alfred if his parents would be proud. And is this a good death and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, well... Yeah, Alfred's like, yeah, yeah, it's a good death, Master Wayne. And basically he's, uh, you know, because the Justice League are busy, he can't get any help, so that's why he knows he's going to die. But he's doing the whole plane thing, and then he's like, suddenly, right before I die, wait, the plane is lifted? And he's like, Clark? Nope, it ain't Clark. It is Gotham and Gotham Girl. Super-powered people who claim they are there to save their city, Gotham City. So that first issue is fantastic. I mean, I just, I was literally like, of all the comics I've read, this is the first time like action wise, I was just enthralled and on the edge of my seat. Uh, but let's not take too long, so let's jump in here. Issue number two, Solomon Grundy want pants too. Uh, <laughs> can't help it, Mary, you have to blame Mary for that. So Batman starts off fighting Solomon Grundy. Uh, well, actually, no, I'm sorry, that's not right. It's Gotham and Gotham Girl are fighting Solomon Grundy uh, outside, and he's gonna knock over their version of the Statue of Liberty. And uh, Batman's been watching the whole time, <laughs> and he kind of berates them. He's kind of saying, you know, like, I wanted to see what you could do and all that stuff. And he stops Solomon Grundy in his tracks, and he's like, you know, in, in one more second, he's like, you would have gotten to Solomon Grundy in like 1.8 seconds, but in 1.5 seconds, he would have trampled this guy to death and blah, blah, blah. You've got to do better. You know, he like, he wants them to be good. Um, so, you know, all that stuff's pretty cool. And uh, let's see, we start to, oh yeah, Jim Gordon gets a confession of who let Solomon Grundy out. The guy kills himself in the middle of the office saying the monsters are coming, which is kind of a recurring thread. And, uh, you know, so then uh, basically Gotham Girl and Gotham get to meet uh, Jim Gordon and they get a taste of the disappearing Batman. And then he's like, I've got x-ray vision. I can hear everything. I can't find him. Gotham is all surprised. Oh, great time for the phone to ring. Um, sorry, but uh, let's just keep rolling here. And... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, then we find out basically who's kind of behind all this. Hugo Strange is uh, with Amanda Waller and everything, is talking to this guy who I believe becomes Psycho Pirate. I think that's who he's talking to. I know Psycho Pirate shows up. So moving on, issue number three. That's the cover I got, pretty nice. Um, it's promoting Suicide Squad, the movie. So we have this flashback, and at first you kind of think maybe we're getting the Wayne family flashback going down Crime Alley and all that. But no, they're actually, um, you know, Batman shows up to uh, save stuff because I am Gotham. You know, and he's going to save his family. He doesn't want it to happen again. 
Um, and he has this line about everybody's scared, but that is, is an opportunity to be brave. And then the family's talking to uh, this guy who's asking questions about the kids because he finds out the kids had were obsessed with Batman and trained and went overseas to do like Doctors Without Borders stuff and came back and suddenly these superheroes appeared. And uh, we find out the guy they're talking to, uh, did I miss it? Hopefully I didn't miss it. Uh, oh yeah, it's Matches Malone. It's Bruce uh, Bruce Wayne's <laughs> secret, uh, secret, secret identity. His double secret probation identity. Wait, what? Um, there's a lot of ads in DC books. I guess that's why they're usually a dollar cheaper. This is pretty cool too, man. This car that opens up and splits, blah, blah, blah. I like this artwork too. I do. I really like this artwork. And I think the design of uh, Gotham is a really, really cool character design. And uh, now they're trying to stop this uh, bridge that's collapsing. And, you know, Batman uses jets and stuff again to hold it up. And uh, does a pretty good job saving everybody. But there's another explosion, so they have to go off and, and uh, save things. And that's where we're to be continued on this issue. So that was a fun read, too. Uh, it got a little slow, I think, in issue three, but it started picking back up in issue number four. So um, basically, Batman shows up, and he's, he's heartbroken because, like, these 27 soldiers are, are dead. And it says, I am Gotham on the board. And Gotham Girl's crying about how scared she is. She's scared. She's scared. She's very, very scared. Um, we get a little flashback. They'd gone to stop this guy from jumping off the roof, but actually he had been uh, basically, he was gonna blow up the roof, so eesh. Now we don't really know what happened here, it kinda gets explained later, um, because now Gotham Girl wakes up and she's all, ah, she's all freaking out, she's in the Batcave, Alfred's trying to console her somewhat, Thomas feels really bad, the guy who's trying to become a new Robin, and he's trying to console her, and now uh, it looks like Gotham has kinda lost his mind, he's out there trying to rebuild the bridge, and you know, Batman's like, you can't do that, you're not the mayor, you're not an architect, you don't know all this, destroys another Batmobile, um, <laughs> and, you know, flies off, and uh, Batman grabs the glider and blows up the crushed Batmobile, so there's nothing left behind people to grab. Uh, and he's flying through. Now we get this great scene I love with Amanda Waller in this bunker, and this General Lane, and General Lane's like, oh, Batman could never get in here. We're like 20 million miles under, and 2,000 guards, and blah, 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 blah. And Amanda Waller keeps being like, Lane, 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 he's right behind you. And Batman's right behind him, so it's like, that is Batman. That was just awesome. And I tell you, the way he and Amanda Waller talk together is really cool, man. She's, she ain't afraid of nobody. She ain't standing down to anybody. Now, um, Gotham's parents have been killed because his soldier, he, Gotham had taken his mask off for a split second, so the soldier found out who he was and went and killed his parents, so now he really is like a young Bruce Wayne. And he snaps the neck of the, the soldier that did it. So it's not going to turn out like the Batman we wanted him to be. And he flies away in a rage. So that's issue number four. So now in issue uh, number five, I grabbed that cover. We basically have the conclusion. Part six is really an epilogue. So they're going to fight. Basically, Gotham is going to try and destroy all of Gotham because he can't save it. Alfred has to dress up like Batman to buy some time. And then he basically hits, you know, Gotham with the Batmobile, which is another cool Batmobile, by the way. Did you get a look at that? I love that there's all these different Batmobiles. There's even a joke in here about you're going to run out of Batmobiles. Real Batman shows up. Alfred's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> it takes off running. And uh, they just fight and fight and blow shit up. Um, yeah, he gets caught in the bat. <laughs> That's what it is. He gets caught in the Batmobile explosion, Gotham. And in the meantime, uh, Gotham Girl and Thomas are kind of watching. And they're trying to find out how to beat Gotham. And basically, <laughs> like Batman pulls a jet down on him. He's just destroying everything he can to buy some time. And let's see, do they reveal it here? Yeah, it kind of turns out that they can use their powers, but it's going to cost their lives every time they use it. So the more power they use, the, the shorter they'll live. If they can get them to use enough power, he'll, he'll basically die. Um, so the Justice League shows up, and they are friends of Batman. So that's kind of cool. And uh, they just start fighting. Although he, he takes the sh he Gotham beats the shit out of the Justice League. He punches through Cyborg and takes down the Lanterns and the Flash and like just everybody. Aquaman. And, uh, oh, is this the line I loved? No, 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 not yet. We're getting to it. Um, but then Gotham Girl explains all that stuff about how to stop him. And then she has to go out and fight him. She has to go out and fight him and drain all his life force energy, basically, until he finally, he dies. At least as far as I know so far. So that's basically the first uh, five issues. But then uh, issue six is a bit of an epilogue before we get into the next story arc. And I grabbed that cover for it. Um, so... Now, Gotham Girl's talking to her dead brother, and she's going a little crazy, and she shaves her head, um, which makes it interesting. And even as she's capturing bad guys and doing the right thing, she's still talking to her brother about how cool Batman is and telling these jokes over and over. And it's really kind of sad. Love this, by the way. This is just a gorgeous fucking uh, spread of Gotham. Just absolutely gorgeous. Um, that's some fantastic artwork right there. 
That's the kind of stuff you buy comics for, honestly. Well, and great storytelling. Then she goes after this guy who thinks he's a pirate because he's off his med. He thinks all his brothers are Batman. But, uh, you know, they save. They save him. They save everybody. And uh, she's just still losing her shit. And see, Batman saves the guy. I like this villain, too, even though he's barely in it. Kite Man! He just, like, runs in, grabs some shit, runs out. He's like, Kite Man! Yeah, Kite Man! Fuck yeah! Um, kind of thing. And uh, then Batman wants to talk to, to Gotham Girl, and he's asking her how she deals with it. Like, because he feels the same, you know, the loss and everything. And he's all sad, and then he, he reveals he's Bruce Wayne, and they hug and all that. And, um, you know, they still have to, he, he reveals he still talks to his dead mom and all that. And he knows that he misses her and everything. So then we get this uh, whole Amanda Waller scene where we find out uh, Hugo and the pirate. Uh, Hugo's given the psycho, the psychic pirate to uh, Bane, and they're going to need Amanda Waller's help because it's basically a Suicide Squad mission. So that could be interesting. So apparently this leads into um, Night of the Monster Men and I Am Suicide. So I really want to find the I Am Suicide books and read those. But anyways, guys, that's kind of uh, what I loved about it, what my favorite parts were, all that. I think my favorite book in there, though, is still the first one, although I do think the rest were really, really good, and I'm anxious to see where they go in this universe from there. Um, so I love that I'm being a, a current Batman fan. Again, that's going to be a lot of fun. But comment along, geek out with me in the comments. Are you reading this? Did you love this arc? How excited are you about it? What was your favorite part in this arc? Please don't spoil anything forward, because, you know, I'm, I'm going to get caught up soon. Uh, uh, part of the problem is finding all the books sometimes, but, uh, <laughs> you know, and I don't want to go digital. I like reading the actual comics, but yeah, geek out in the comments, do all that stuff. Click the thumbs up button. Give me the thumb of encouragement because I do love to be encouraged. I'm going to keep improving these things. So give me any feedback if you'd like, and we'll get these things really good in the future. And other than that, I'm going to get out of here and review some more books. I'll see y'all later. <laughs>